Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your science teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your science class. My dear students, as you know that we have already started chapter number 9 and I have given you a complete introduction of this unit. So, the name of our unit is Space and Satellites. Today, we are going to start its first lecture that, that is about space. So, my dear students, let's start it with an activity. So, here you can see solar system that the planet, nine planets, eight planets are revolving around the sun. So, this is a system, this may hamara earth shamil hai, which is called the solar system. So, my dear students, quickly tell me that do you know about solar system? Aapko solar system ke baare mein pada hai, pata hai? Very good. If you know about it, then where is the solar system located? Solar system kaha hai? It is inside Milky Way. Space mein Milky Way hamari galaxy hai, jaha ye located hai. Okay, my dear students, so define the term. In today's lecture, the students will be able to define the term space and emphasize the need to explore it. So, my dear students, aaj bache space ko define kar sakenge. Iske ilawa bache isko is baare mein bhi jaan sakenge ki isko explore karne uh, ka kya maksad hai. Scientists isko kyun explore kar rahe hai, astronaut space mein kyun jate hai. Vahaan wo kya cheeze jo hai, unko find out karte hai. We are going to study about this today. So, my dear students, let's quickly move forward towards the Islamic perspective. So, Allah says in Quran that and he has subjected for you the night and the day and the sun and the moon and the stars are subjected by his command. Indeed, in that are signs for, uh, for people who reason. So, my dear students, Allah Ta'ala ne jo space mein jitni bhi cheeze banai hai, unko ek hesaab se banaya hai, din aati hai, raat aata hai, din mein aapko suraj nazar aata hai, raat mein chand nazar aata hai, iske ilawa sitare hai bhoot sare. So, Allah Ta'ala ne hume Quran mein bataya hai ki there are other things than earth, yinni ke space mein earth ke ilawa aur bhi bhoot sari cheeze hai, joh ke exist karni hai. So, my dear students, let's quickly move forward towards the pre-reading question. So, quickly tell me that what is meant by universe, a very important question. आप कहते हैं कि यूनिवर्स है हमारी कायनात है तो इसके इससे क्या मतलब है यूनिवर्स का क्या मतलब है यूनिवर्स का मतलब है कि दैट एवरीथिंग ऑल द मैटर ऑल द एक्टिविटीज ऑल द एनर्जी हर चीज जो है देयर इट इज इनसाइड समथिंग सो ये किसके अंदर है इट एग्जिस्ट्स इन द यूनिवर्स ओके वेयर इज द सोलर सिस्टम लोकेटेड सो सो सोलर सिस्टम इज लोकेटेड इन द मिल्की वे हमारी गैलेक्सी का नाम मिल्की वे है हाउ डू वी कम टू नो अबाउट द सोलर सिस्टम सो हमें सोलर सिस्टम के बारे में कैसे पता चलता है बिकॉज द सन इज द स्टार अराउंड विच द आवर प्लानिट इज रिवॉल्विंग अराउंड सो वेन वी मूव आउट इन टू द स्पेस दैट्स हाउ वी नो अबाउट द सोलर सिस्टम और बाकी प्लानिट्स को जो है वो हम लोकेट कर सकते हैं इज देयर एनी अदर सोलर सिस्टम इन द यूनिवर्स There are many other systems, even bigger than the solar system. Jiske andar or stars hai, jinke edgir jo hai, different planets jo hai, wo revolve kar rahe hai, or satellites hai, ye tamam cheeze jo hai, there are other systems like solar system. Okay, my dear students, uh, let's quickly move forward towards the reading. So, I request you all to please open page where the topic space is given. Quickly open it in your science 5 books. I hope everybody has opened the page. Now let's start the reading. Put your fingers where I will read. Space. Space is a boundless three-dimensional region and that has attracted the attention of scientists for a long. But what is space? Space is a vacuum with no light, no heat and even no boundary. So my dear students, what is space? Space is boundless. Hai. ठीक है यानी कि इसकी कोई बाउंड्री नहीं है कोई दीवार नहीं है इसके इर्द कोई रुकावट नहीं है सो दैट मींस इट इज बाउंडलेस ठीक है आपका जो कमरा होता है इसकी बाउंड्री होती है इसी तरह जो स्पेस है दैट हैज नो बाउंड्रीज इट इज लिमिटलेस और इसके अलावा ये थ्री डायमेंशनल है यानी कि आप इसको हर कोने से जो है वो देख सकते हैं इट हैज थ्री डायमेंशन इसके अलावा स्पेस में कोई लाइट नहीं है कोई हीट नहीं है कोई ग्रेविटी नहीं है इट इज अ वैक्यूम Around our earth, it starts from 100 km above sea level where the air is said to be absent. So my dear students, if it is count from sea level, then our earth from the earth from the earth from 100 km above the space starts. That means there is no air. All planets, stars, galaxies, asteroids, stardust lie in space. 
space has comic radiations emitting from stars and other heavenly objects so my dear students space mein uh, jo hai wo tamam jo galaxies hain tamam jo asteroids hain tamam planets hain stars hain ye tamam cheeze space mein hi exist karti hain aur collectively they make up our universe so iske ilawa space mein uh, jo hai wo uh, radiations hai cosmic radiations hain jo mukhtalif stars se jaise ki hamara suraj hai isi tarah jo baki stars hain unse jo hai wo emit ho rahe hain stars the uh, other heavenly objects and the vastness of space have always triggered mankind to explore it more and more the study of space has unveiled many phenomena such as gravity solar system phases of the moon directions weather predictions global internet global communication the evolution of planets and many more that are yet undiscovered Each discovery about space leads us to a new level of exploration. Exploration. So, my dear students, jitni bhi heavenly bodies hain, uh, space mein maujood hain. Iske ilawa sitare hain, aur iske ilawa mukhtalif jo hai, jo ar space ki vastness hai, yani ki how big it is. In tamam chizo ne hamesha insano ko bahut zada attract kia hai. Jiske wajah se insan isko zada se zada explore karna chahte hain. Aur jese jese wo explore karte gaye, unhone solar system ke baare mein jana, unhone weather ke baare mein jana. उन्होंने बाकी प्लैनेट्स के बारे में जाना उन्होंने ग्रेविटी के बारे में जाना तो इन तमाम चीज़ों की वजह से इंसान जो है वो नई डिस्कवरीज कर रहा है और जैसे जैसे एक नई डिस्कवरी होती है इंसान इसको ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा जो है वो एक्सप्लोर करना चाहता है क्योंकि हर दफ़ा दे फाइंड अ न्यू थिंग अबाउट द स्पेस द क्वेस्ट ऑफ द क्वेस्ट टू डिस्कवर आर एनवायरमेंट दैट इज सुटेबल फॉर लाइफ इज कॉन्स्टेंटली इंट्रीगिंग साइंटिस्ट टू एक्सप्लोर स्पेस it is need of the r as well many institutes are working in this field such as nasa sparco satellite ground station pakistan space agency etc with the aim to inquire about space more and more so my dear students jaise jaise insaan ko pata chala ki jo suitable environment hai jisme insaan zinda reh sakta hai तो इसके अलावा इंसान ने स्पेस को भी डिस्कवर करना शुरू किया कि स्पेस में क्योंकि स्पेस में इंसान नहीं रह सकता वहाँ ग्रेविटी नहीं है वहाँ हवा नहीं है वहाँ लाइट नहीं है सो so, इंसान ने स्पेस को और दूसरे प्लैनेट्स को एक्सप्लोर करना शुरू किया इनको एक्सप्लोर करने के लिए प्रॉपर इंस्टीट्यूट्स हैं जैसे कि स्पार्को है नासा है सेटेलाइट ग्राउंड स्टेशन है इसके अलावा पाकिस्तान स्पेस एजेंसी है ये तमाम जो हैं ये स्पेस के बारे में जानने की कोशिश करें ये तमाम इंस्टीट्यूट्स सो this is space where uh, everything is uh, located the stars the heavenly bodies satellites comets asteroids ye har cheeze jo hai ye tamam cheeze galaxies they all are in this space and space is what space is a vacuum where there is no light no heat and no gravity and it uh, it has no boundaries so the stars दे आर एमिटिंग रेडिएशन कॉजमिक रेडिएशन ये स्पेस में कॉजमिक रेडिएशन क्यों मिलती हैं हमें क्योंकि दे आर एमिटेड बाय द स्टार्स दैट आर प्रेजेंट इन द स्पेस ओके माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ इज द टाइम फॉर अवेल्यूएशन सो क्विकली टेल मी दैट वॉट इज स्पेस स्पेस किस को कहा जाता है स्पेस इज अ वैक्यूम विच इज लिमिटलेस विच हैज नो बाउंड्रीज इट हैज नो लाइट इट हैज नो हीट इट हैज नो ग्रेविटी what is found in space everything is found in space the stars the galaxies the heavenly bodies uh, planets satellites cosmic uh, uh, asteroids comets these all are found in the space so name the institutes that are working on space that is um, nasa sparco and pakistan space agency these all are working uh, studying about the space Now now is the time for practice for which you can download this worksheet from the description box below this video or you can get it in print form by your teacher. So my dear students write down your name and the roll number and then fill in the blank space is boundless region. Space is dash where no dash and dash exists. Space is a vacuum where there is no heat and uh, light or gravity. space starts from dash above the sea level 100 kilometers our uh, answer true or false space is a vacuum where light and air exist this is false stars and other heavenly objects emit cosmic radiations in space 
true uh, by uh, study of space the phenomena by the study of uh, by the study of space the phenomena of gravity moon phases are unveiled on us uh, true solve some riddles i am a ball of red gas i produce extreme heat i am the main energy giver to whole earth that is sun we are huge balls of hot gases but we look tiny <coughs> sorry we are huge ball of gas but we look tiny to your eyes we twinkle on sky especially in cloudless night that is stars there there used to be nine of us but now we are left with only eight we orbit around the sun that are the planets so you will pause the video and complete the worksheet i hope everybody has done it now let's quickly move forward towards the homework for homework you will do mcq number 1 and 2 given on page number 122 and you will also do question number 1 from section number b given on page number 123 3 so this will be your homework and my dear students the wrap up so in today's lecture we have learned that space is boundless three dimensional dark vacuum where heavenly bodies like stars star dust and galaxies exist and there is no light and air in the space so my dear students i hope you have enjoyed today's lecture keep everybody around you safe have a good day thank you so much and allah hafiz